warning of some fairly severe conditions across parts of Wales, the Midlands and southern England. When all said and done across this zone, we could see as much as 60, 70 millimetres of rain. That's a good part of three inches band, of course, some problems as the night goes on. Further north, the odd shower around, but where the skies remain clear, for example, in the glens of Scotland, temperatures not far above freezing. Yes, I know, in the beginning of May. Mind you, plenty of dry weather across these more northern and western parts of the UK as we go through Sunday. Further south and east, though, any improvements will be very slow indeed. And I'm afraid the bottom line is that for a good part of southeast England and East Anglia, it's going to stay cold, wet and windy all day long. That includes the London area. Highs of around 7 or 8 degrees at best and the chill accentuated by that blustery wind. Drying out across the Midlands and just the odd shell left behind across the parts of northern England. The best of the sunshine probably across the more western areas. And for western Scotland too, brightening up towards the east coast though, probably staying rather grey and chilly. Northern Ireland, bar the odd shower, should be dry, 11 degrees in Belfast. Not exactly warm with that cool breeze coming down from the north. Some sunshine for West Wales, one or two showers left behind across eastern areas. And we'll escape the worst of the weather over the next 24 hours across the far southwest of England. Some sunny intervals here. Holiday Monday, well, things drying out, just the odd shower, but nowhere will it be warm. That's it.